Hi, my name's Trudy Tapscott, and fashion modeling has some very specific physical requirements. Um, and I say that, that, you know, you do have to be a certain height, and you do have to be a certain, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say weight, but I would say a certain measurement shape. You know, kind of, you need to fit clothes that are designed by a designer, and, you know, modeling is a job. And so there are specifics, like just like sports, just like anything else, you, there's a physical form that, need, that you need in order to sell designer clothes. The requirements are preferably 5'9 and taller, uh, measurements 34, 35 hip, sample size, which is changing. You know, sometimes it's a little smaller than it should be, Some, you know, depending upon the brand and the designer. So you need to have measurements that are pretty much 34, 24, 34. Um, and that varies, you know, a girl who's 5'9 is going to have a different sizing, different shape, different proportions than a girl who's 5'11". Um, but the range is between 5'9 up to 6 feet. There are girls that are taller than 6 feet. It does make it more difficult. You know, sleeves are shorter, pants are shorter. Um, but that's pretty much it. There's exceptions to every single rule. And those kind of requirements are for New York, Paris, Milan, London, big markets where modeling is a, a, a career. Sometimes in smaller markets, there's a generosity um, and a little bit of leeway in terms of what clients are looking for because it's a different kind of modeling. And when I say there's exceptions to every rule, there's models who have modeled and have had great careers who are 5'7", 5'8", but your best chances are 5'9 and taller. Mm -hmm.